extended to each one of you. To begin our AVI service for today, let's sing a few songs and let's start with You Are My All in All.
song will sing the power of your love. Happy Sabbath everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's AY program. Today's AY program is themed COC and COC stands for Christ Oriented Christians. We hope that you all are blessed by this program. For our opening song let's all sing My Life is in You Lord.
Good evening and happy Sabbath to each and every one of you who's watching this Vesper service. The song that I'm going to sing is titled One Day at a Time. Through this song we're told that with everything that's going on around us, we must ask God to give us the strength to deal with our challenges, struggles and move ahead one day at a time. Yes. Today, I'm going to speak about the importance of choosing the good choice. I'm going to bring out some characters from the Bible, some prominent ones, some may not be as prominent as the others, and we're going to see why. I've been a teacher for quite a while now. Before this pandemic, we go to school, stand in front of a bunch of students and speak. It's a normal day. But when it comes to speaking about the Word of God, it's a whole other level. But a lot of prayer goes into my preparation, and prayer can move mountains. I would like to share a scripture with you that is found in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 39. But we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. My first character is Paul. Paul, before his conversion, was a persecutor. He persecuted believer of Christ and put them to prison. In fact, his conversion happened on the way to Damascus. He heard the calling of Christ and gave his life to Christ. He never looked back to the life he left behind. He preached about the word of God. He was beaten, tried, shamed, and put into prison. He was brought before King Agrippa to be tried. But if you look at the book of Acts from the Bible, you will see many interesting stories about Paul. I wonder if he had not made that decision to follow Christ, whose story will be there in he, in place of his. Well, my next character, King Agrippa. King Agrippa II, the last of hero, a very wealthy man and with extraordinary repute. When Paul was brought before him to be tried, he listened very carefully as to what Paul had to speak. The Holy Spirit was with him. He kept aside all his social ornaments and he covered himself with a blanket of truth. But he looked outside and he could see all the empire that he built around him. He just could not say goodbye to all of this. And he uttered the most dreadful words to Paul that even made one of the heading uh, for the book the Acts of the Apostle, one of the heading, Thou almost thou persuadest me. What a shame. My next character is Peter. Peter, a lowly fisherman, left all that he had and accepted the calling of Jesus to be one of his disciples. But he slipped. 
He denied his Lord three times, but he did not stop there. He confessed his sin, come to his senses, make his decision, and go back to Jesus. Serve him like he had never served before. His life on earth may be filled with may be filled with hardship and struggle, but he had his eye eyes fixed on the Lord and the price beyond. And that earned him salvation. Well, my next character is Judas. Judas, just like Peter, one of the disciples of Jesus and a treasurer. He too slipped. He sold his master for just 30 pieces of silver. He could have been one of the greatest had he made a decision. Well, he did make a decision, but the decision that led him, that led him to his damnation. Well, I've bracketed the two of my characters together, the first two, Paul and King Agrippa. Why, you may ask is, these characters are somewhat similar to each other. At first, these characters were not familiar with the truth, but when they were presented with, but when they were presented with the truth, one made a better decision than the others. Well, he gave his life to Christ, forgetting himself, thinking only about Jesus and the truth. He worked towards his salvation. He has his eyes fixed to the prize, that is Jesus Christ. And we came to call him Apostle Paul. The next two characters, Peter and Judas, they both were disciples of Jesus. Both loved the Lord and the Lord loves them. They were chosen by Jesus. They both slipped, but one made a better decision than the others. To come back to Jesus, confess his sin, and make a decision to be his forever. His life on earth may be filled with struggles and hardships, but he looked beyond all of this to the prize that is beyond, that is Jesus Christ. Well, you and me, we have a decision to make in our life, especially when it comes to our salvation. Let's always have our eyes fixed on to Jesus. And choose the good always. Thank you.
Good evening everyone. We all play mobile games every day. My gamer friends will know how important it is to update the latest version of COC that is Clash of Clans and any other game. In COC we get new and exciting offers for treasures, new troops and much more. And this happen in all the other games as well. This evening I want to talk about a different kind of COC that is Christ oriented Christian. In this COC my favorite character is King David. He was updated from a shepherd boy to the king of Israel. By listening to the creator he got army, troops, people, treasure and much more things. There were some battles he took upon himself and stumbled. I'm sure we all can relate to this in our life. And despite knowing the mistake, the creator never left him. David, on the other hand, had put the robe of faith and overcame the giant. He never thought he was weak or left alone. Rather, surrendering himself, he overcame the giant. I would like to end by reading from Psalms 20 verse 6 and 7. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Jesus Christ, who lived a perfect human life on this earth, who lived a life of faith in his Father, who lived what he preached, who set an ultimate benchmark for love, forgiveness, obedience, discipleship, leadership, servant leadership, and so on. I am so glad that we are called as Christians because we are tagged with the name Christ in it a name so powerful and matchless. When we live a Christ-oriented life, we are preparing for eternity because we know that this world is not our home. Earlier as we heard of some of the Bible characters uh, who were Christ-oriented and shared their experience, how they changed or were able to do wonders because they had Christ in their life. In the same way, we are ought to live a Christ-oriented life and share Him with others. So, let's just not update COC on our phones, but let's have a Christ-oriented life through prayer and through His Word. Let's have a daily orientation with Christ. When Jesus walked on this earth, He surely was the best thing. And so are we, because we are His creation, we are His workmanship, we are created in God's image. Let's get this updated and keep on reminding ourselves every single day of the way, the truth 
and the life. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, thanks for the wonderful Sabbath evening you gave to each one us, Father. Thank you for the wonderful program which you gave us, Father. We hope and pray that whatever the preacher spoke to us, Father, we may understand that and keep that in daily life, Father. Especially keeping the lives of the people in the hand who have been suffering from various kinds of diseases, especially the COVID, Father. We pray that you may place your hand over them and help them to recover, Father. And praise the Holy Name, Father. As we enter to the night of us, Father, as we go to our beds, help us and guide us and help us to good night's sleep and wake up tomorrow morning to pray the whole name, Father. This short prayer I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>